In this demo, I will show you how the Dataflow and Pipeline experience can create a powerful and comprehensive data solution. Here we have the homepage of Data Factory and Fabric. Let's start by creating a Dataflow. Users who are familiar with Power Query will appreciate the familiarity of the low-code yet customizable experience. With over 170 connectors, you can get data from many sources. As you can see here, I have already imported my two tables my orders table, and my products table for my worldwide importer SQL database. Along with the two tables I brought in, I have a customer's Excel file that I have on my file system that I would like to bring in. With the new modern Get Data experience, I can see most of my common data sources that I use, along with a seamless way of bringing in data from a variety of different data sources. For my customer's table, I am just going to drag and drop the file into my editor. Immediately, I am brought to the connect to a new data source page where I can see that my customer's file has been uploaded. Data preview allows me to see my data before selecting the data to clean and transform. Now that I brought in my data, I am ready to transform data at high scale, along with altering columns and rows. I can also merge and append queries. Let me first start by merging customers and orders query. I can specify the queries I would like to merge along with the column I want to merge on. Now we can see a new query with all the columns from my customers table and one column with the nested data from the orders table. Along with merging and appending queries, I can also transform the data using group by. Group by allows me to group rows in my query based on the values in the selected column. For this example, I will group by the related titles for each customer. Now we can see that the new transformation has been made to the query, showcasing our new output. With data flows, you can set your output destination to store your transformed data. In this example, I will route the results to a table in a data warehouse. Let's select the destination target and give the table a name. I will leave the default as replace, essentially meaning that any tables with the same name will be replaced in my warehouse. I will quickly rename my data flow to Contessa Data Flow, and then I can publish it. And with that, my data flow is complete. Fabric Data Integration includes the rich data orchestration capabilities that currently exist in Azure Data Factory. And with pipelines, customers can perform sophisticated data orchestration at an enterprise scale. Users who are familiar with ADF will appreciate the familiarity of the low-code yet customizable experience. We are back in our Contoso Analytics workspace, where I created my previous data flow. You can get started with the building pipelines directly in the workspace. In this example, I will use the Copy Assistant to copy data from multiple Azure SQL data tables to the lake house. The Copy Assistant empowers any users to quickly get up to speed with creating pipelines that bring data to the Microsoft Cloud. Let's connect to an Azure SQL database and bring in some tables. Let's bring in four tables from my database. After selecting the tables, I can see a preview of it as well. Then I can choose my data destination output, which in this example, I would use a lake house. I can either create a new lake house or use an existing lake house. Let me choose an existing one. Let me give my new tables names. I am provided with a quick summary of what I just did. And just like magic, we can enable users to copy multiple tables quickly to their favorite data destinations. The pipeline experience also includes a library of activities that will enable rich and sophisticated data orchestration. I can add a data flow activity to execute the data flow that I previously created. And while data flow provides no code transformation, we can also leverage notebooks for the code centric transformations. Let's add a notebook activity and I will select an existing notebook that I've created that sorts the products in my products table by color. I will save my pipeline and now I will run the pipeline with the notebook and the data flow. And there you go the pipeline ran successfully.